young and still a student but suddenly she fell in love and for her foundation green ethiopia takes the full responsibility this is a story of a young student that millions of africans wish for When Foundation Green Ethiopia was established in the year 2000 by the goodwill of Mr. Kurt and his family, this young girl wasn't born yet. Green Ethiopia noticed a lack of trees in the most ruler parts of Ethiopia that caused land erosion and desertification, how farmers suffered from being unable to produce crops, and the long tiresome journeys that girls had to travel to fetch water. So, the sustainable solution was to cover the barren land with seedlings, which is why the foundation established and used huge seedling plantations in Oromia and Tigray that brought hope to many. Once the seedlings were ready for plantation, Foundation Green Ethiopia eagerly started the job of trying to cover the land with trees. With a lot of effort, Boreto Mountain stands with pride covered by greenery. Mountains like Boreto were then filled with joy, since the floods that eroded them once no longer did. Now Nitzanit has a new story to tell. She's thankful for her life when she hears about how her mother and her older siblings had to travel three to four hours to fetch water. Foundation <laughs> ከካምስ <laughs> Aungen, 
برنا معمتو كتبالنا تمرتيت مالنا. For Nizanet, these trees aren't just plants that should be cut down whenever necessary. For her, they have a far greater meaning. سيدابراين بقى بيتا سبوت يسوعم تيرو لما بيم لاتناتم مشتنيان مالنا. أرتيز زاف بتسامن موتات إن دان لقاد النيل ما يت مالنا. كأسفانم سماو تيللا تلو إريابي مالنا. Yes, Ms. Anit has fallen in love with this forest. The mountain that was once barren now has made many young, beautiful girls like Ms. Anit fall in love with it. Siwa ma hone rasi jale he siwa ma siwa agana da ye usno hulu na garasi je he agatar ki ulpe sin jala da gule siwa ma da sin jala da gule siwa biya zafinye la salo anu la zila za. Green Ethiopian, but I'm a second.